We are really excited to share this video with you guys today. We're going to share 10 changes that we've made to our van conversions over the years. Alex and I have been building vans for five years now and we've built, I think this was van build number 16 and we've got like van build up to number 20 in the shop right now. So we've learned a lot over the years. We're always trying to improve upon what we're doing for longevity to make sure that we're using the most high quality materials and that these vans are going to last for years to come. So let's jump right in. First things first, I'm going to talk about cabinetry. There's a few things we've changed when it comes to our cabinetry. Number one, we do have stained cabinets in our van, but we do this whether the cabinets are stained or painted. On the inside, we don't paint them anymore. We used to paint the whole thing. Now we just clear coat the inside. This is pretty standard in a house. Kitchen cabinets will be painted on the outside and then the inside will just be a clear coat. And that's because they hold up a whole lot better over time. With paint, you're gonna have scuffing and marks all over and you're gonna wanna repaint the inside constantly. So now we just clear coat it and they hold up beautifully. We also have removable backers in all of the upper cabinets. So if we ever needed to access a wire or run more wiring, we can remove the panel in the back of the cabinet and fish wires through the ceiling, do whatever we need to do and put that panel back in. Again, this just gives us some accessibility in the future and not such a permanent cabinet where we can't access anything behind it. Last but not least, when it comes to the cabinetry side, is that we got rid of face frames. You'll notice all of our upper cabinets in this van are face frameless. All of the lowers still have face frames on them. One of the reasons why we got rid of face frames is because we were noticing that they weren't holding up as well. And with the latches, the heavy duty latches, specifically on the lower cabinets that we use, just that wear and tear over time of pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing, you can have some issues with the face frames. Not only that, but face frameless is very in style right now. A lot of people like the bigger fronts with no face frame kind of a look. And again, this was just for longevity. This is going to be more durable than having a face frame. One of the other changes we've made is we now do the ceiling and the walls first and then put our cabinets in. We used to do it the other way where we put the cabinets in first and then built around that. However, it's a lot of scribe work and you're typically still going to have small gaps underneath the cabinet or at the ends of the cabinet where you're scribing around. 16th of an inch and eighth of an inch, you'll have those kinds of gaps because there's only so tight you can get it and you also don't want the wood on the wood rubbing together because then that's going to cause squeaking. So now we do the walls and the ceiling first, put our upper cabinets in, and that gives us a nice pretty line at the ceiling and at the walls. One of the other changes we've made and a lot of clients have liked are these solid surface countertops. Again, longevity. These are more durable and actually a little bit lighter weight than butcher block. We did butcher block a lot in the beginning, but again, it'll ding, it'll scratch more than the solid surface countertops. The other great thing with solid surfaces, you can just quickly sand something out if it does scratch or ding versus butcher block. If you sand it, you'd have to stain it again, clear coat it again. Not exactly the easiest thing to fix over time. Now moving to the back of the van, one of the other changes we've made is now we do bamboo tabletops. We used to just use three quarter inch plywood with a band around the edge to make it appear thicker like a countertop. But because that was edge banded on the sides, we were noticing people were having, again, dings, scratches on that edge banding. So now we switch over to bamboo, more durable, lighter weight, and looks beautiful. At the back doors, we've made a pretty big change. You'll see in our van, we have wood scribed at the ends of the shiplap and at the top of the ceiling for covering the metal and all the holes that are there in the Sprinter van. Now we actually use fabric, upholstery fabric around that back door area. It's a marine grade upholstery that we try to typically just match the color of the van that wraps around all the way to the weather stripping, just gives a cleaner finish, looks a little better, and again, will hold up better long term. For our electrical system, we have changed the batteries that we use. We still use Battleborn because they're awesome, but we no longer use the 100 amp hour BB112 or the GC2. We have moved strictly to the GC3, the Game Changer 3 by Battleborn, 
because it is awesome. 270 amp hours in one battery. You can mount them in a bunch of different ways. We've talked about this a bunch, but that is a change we have made. We've gone away from the 100 amp hours and gone strictly to 270 amp hours, either a 540 amp hour package or like this one, an 810 amp hour package. A change we have made in the bathroom is we primarily use Palisade vinyl wall tile. This is a waterproof made for bathroom installation, click together wall tile. Did I mention it's vinyl? Looks awesome. They have a few different finishes and we find that it is one of the best solutions for finishing out a bathroom in a van. On the 2021 and newer vans, there is this really nice headliner trim that comes and fills in these spots, but typically we're using scribed wood pieces and a cap here to cap off the ceiling piece. But now we have these nice new Mercedes factory trim pieces that we get to use. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you didn't know already, we absolutely love Squarespace and we use them for all three of our websites, sarahandalexjames.com, customcraftedvans.com, and thevanlayoutguide.com. One of the reasons why we use Squarespace and love them so much is because it's so easy to go in on the back end and make edits, add our own blog posts, add Amazon affiliate links, pictures, videos, and other resources for you guys who are out there doing your own DIY van builds. We always try to provide helpful information on our blog. So if you haven't been to our sarahandalexjames.com website, be sure to check it out because there's a lot of free information there. Now, if you're looking for even more information, our van layout guide website is a private based website because it is a membership based. It's $57 to join. You get lifetime access to all of our floor plans, materials, helpful how to's, and even more tips and tricks. If you are ready to check out Squarespace for yourself, head to squarespace.com for a free two week trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Oh, yeah. The sweating. final thing that we have changed on our van conversions is suspension upgrades. So this van, for example, is a 2500 170 extended. So we put on a two inch lift from Van Compass, their two inch striker lift kit. And we also upgraded the shocks, struts, and we put on a 5,400 pound leaf spring on the rear so that it looks even and the butt isn't all saggy because nobody wants that. Um, no, but truthfully, saggy, but true. truthfully, it makes a huge Sorry. difference. Gosh, where'd she go? I was just going to let it be like casual funny. But you I'm lost so, it. I'm sorry. No one does want a saggy butt. It's true. I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay. We got Thanks this. for watching this uh, oh, semi-coherent video. Wait. Hold on, I got something. Hopefully this helped. Maybe you're going to change a few things in your own van build. Hopefully I'm it was at least entertaining. <laughs> I'm sure there are some builders out there who will take our tips and use them for usual. <laughs> I'm sorry. Another video. The three things most copied from our van conversions. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Anyways, all laughter aside, hope this video was helpful. It's the end of the day. Alex and I. <laughs> you okay, boo? I don't know. Oh, you're too hot. That's it. <laughs> I think see we just ya. need to say goodbye. We'll see you all later. This is why we don't do many YouTube videos. Lock it down. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, you were doing the, the, what's his name? Peter McGinnon. Ah.